the relationship right now is going through a difficult phase but i do want to say it's a you know the problems we have are with a certain segment of canadian politics and the policies which uh, uh which flow from that uh so uh so i want people to understand in a sense the uh, the uh, the extent of the issue uh number 2 right now the uh, big concern which people have uh, is on visas uh and uh, you know uh, some uh, weeks ago uh, we stopped issuing visas in canada uh, because it was no longer safe for our diplomats to go to work to issue visas so their safety and security was the primary reason uh, we had to temporarily stop the issue of visas uh we tracking it very closely uh my uh, hope uh, my expectation is that uh, uh situation would improve uh, in the sense that uh we our people would have greater confidence in being able to do their basic duty as diplomats uh, because as you know uh giving ensuring safety and security of diplomats is the most fundamental aspect of the vienna convention and right now that is what has in many ways been challenged uh, in canada that our people are not safe our diplomats are not safe uh, so uh, if uh, uh, we see progress there i would like very much to resume uh, the issue of visas my uh, hope would be that it would is something which should happen uh, very very uh, soon uh, finally uh, you know you uh, there was there's this whole issue of parity that uh, uh, the size of a you know how many diplomats there are of one country versus how many diplomats uh, there are of the other country uh, parity is very much provided for by the vienna convention which is the uh, which is the relevant uh, international Uh, rule on this uh, but in our case we uh, invoke parity because uh, we had concerns about continuous interference uh, in our affairs uh, by uh, canadian personnel uh, we haven't uh, made much of that public uh, my sense is over a period of time more stuff will come out uh, and people will understand Uh, why we had the kind of discomfort with many of them which we did